So, yeah, let's talk about this real quick. So, yeah, we, there was a VTuber tournament last Saturday. Had all these VTubers you see there on the screen. Uh, I've talked about it so much, I know their names now. I was about to say, I don't know any of them, but now I know their names because I've talked about it so much. This is Nova. Uh, this is Lavora. This is Miwa Bell. That's Poseidon. This is uh, Leah. And this is, I think, like Arisu. So we had Leah as the winner, which is like, yay, congrats. She, uh, she did really well. My issue with the whole thing was, so they're like, you know, presumably well-known VTubers, right? They stream, they have a good audience. So this was like a good opportunity for presumably other card gamers to get experienced to our game. My issue was that, I, I tweeted about this also. My issue was that there were people asking in the chat, right? And they wanted to play Vanguard. They were like interested. So they asked certain questions that made me feel absolutely embarrassed <laughs> as someone that plays this game i was so embarrassed that i was there because there were questions like oh hey does your game card fight vanguard have a simulator like master duel that i can play and i and then I, as a this isn't like chat and i'm reading there i'm just like ah, shit. <laughs> nope we don't have any of that shit actually you want to play the game? You want an easy way to play Card Fight Vanguard? Here's what you can do. You can download Card Fight Vanguard Deer Days for $70, depending on which area in the world you live. Then you can play that, whatever, to get a deck there, and then pay upwards to like $100, $200 in DLC to get the up-to-date cards. So this segment is actually from a stream that happened before Deer Days 2 was announced. So I'll just interject from time to time just to add some clarity and also just update any of my opinions or takes here. Your other option is you have to go to this shady Russian site to download CFA, figure out the fucking controls. And just to be clear, this isn't any sort of jab or trying to knock down either CFA or what I'm about to talk about in a second in Vang Pro. These are absolutely amazing community built tools to actually be able to play the game. They just aren't necessarily the most accessibility friendly when it comes to newer players. And that's by no fault of their own. I'm putting the onus on Bushiro themselves in that they don't have any official way to actually get access to play the game easily that the only way to do this is second hand which nothing you know nothing bad with the fact that the second hand exists but the first hand should have been there in the first place is what i'm trying to get at right and then somehow figure out how to play and then get to play someone or you have to go to this i think google drive download this random program to download it figure out the controls there and then play the game and it was just so embarrassing that there was just no answer to give them, right? People did say Deer Days, but it's just like, what the fuck are they going to do with that, right? They're just going to go look at the price tag, <laughs> close Steam, forget about Vanguard. So that was just really, that just really hurt me, right? Like, I felt so embarrassed as, like, a content creator, as, like, just someone who enjoys the game, that these people are interested. And I feel this all the time. They're interested in Vanguard, and it's just like... Well, shit, we got here, right? <laughs> we didn't make it this far. So, like, the barrier for entry to learn, or not even to learn. Learn is not even the right word. The barrier to entry to be able to play Card Fight Vanguard is just very, like, unnecessarily high, right? Like, we, and it has to be as simple as possible for someone to go and play a game, right? Like, the best example I have for you is I was trying to play, what is it called? Zenless Zone Saga or whatever, the, the fucking ZZZ game. I, I went to go play that. Uh, I played it, whatever, and then I came back to play it the next day. It had to update. The game updated. And then it asked me for my password to log in. I didn't remember it. I instantly closed the game and then just was like, fuck it, I'm not dealing with this. And then just walked on and did something, something else. You have to understand that that's kind of the experience that most people will have. Like, no one wants to put in majority of people are not going to put in the time and effort to download cfa to fucking learn a deck to learn the controls right like no one wants to do that giant hurdle just because like afterwards the the game might be good right it has to be as easy and as accessible and as simple as possible which we just don't have anything remotely close to that 
right now, which really sucks. And to add a little bit of clarity and a little bit of depth to the point I'm trying to make here is that in order for you to be able to get someone into Cardfight Vanguard, the barrier for entry has to be as small and as low as possible. Me telling someone to go download a game that's 10 or something gigabytes that costs them $70 and then have them grind through the game to get a deck that they want and also pay $20 for DLC is not something that someone wants to do if they're just mildly interested in a game. People that are mildly interested don't really want to download something like CFA or Vank Pro and then have to build a deck or find a deck on their own and then also have to figure out the controls and then find someone to play with them and then have to go through some other tutorial or something like that on their own. If they have someone alongside them to walk them through it or whatever that's fine that's a different case but if someone is on their own discovering the game and decide to look into it there is really no easy way for them to jump into the game and get a taste for the game other than maybe maybe checking out a youtube video or something like that but there's no real hands-on approach the closest thing we have is the dear days demo and that's about it and that's really a tutorial if anything and isn't as easily accessible as something like an app they can download on their phone, much like you can do with like a Duel Links, or you can do with something like the Pokemon TCG Live app, or I believe even the Digimon game has an app that you can download to learn and play the game and do some test hands in. If someone wanted to play the ZZZ game that I mentioned in this video, they can very easily look it up download it and instantly play the game and experience it for themselves and either continue playing it if they want to or not. If someone hears Cardfight Vanguard from what I've been talking about in this video, they will Google the game and find that they will either have to buy a bunch of different cards or go to a local shop, buy cards and play there, or they'll have to go and maybe download Deer Days. And that's a bit too much of a barrier for entry for these games and I feel like we have to find a way to lower that or I guess not me or we specifically but the company themselves it, it's just it's just really annoying and then to top it all off right they hit on the the other the second thing right they were asking like oh, okay good and i get this question all the time what's a good entry product and i'm just like oh my gosh because <laughs> then they start talking about like oh yeah there's this like these quick start decks or whatever and they start asking questions about it i'm just like oh my fucking god Quick start decks, huh? Yeah, that that's great. Because they're going to come from Yu-Gi-Oh! World, where they have structure decks that are ready to play that cost the same as our quick start decks that just have no effects. Thankfully, yes, the Varillo deck, the Virginia deck, whatever, that's going to be good, right? That's great. It's not coming till November, unfortunately, so for the next two months, we got to just tell people to get stride deck sets, essentially, right? Pay. You want to play my game? You got... 50, 80, 100 dollars or something like that. So uh I tell my friends that I want to try uh, that I want to try Vanguard is you can borrow my deck that should is too expensive to try. Yeah, and then that's the that's that's how it should be, right? That's that's nice. That's how you should be for people in person. Uh because the only real way for them to be able to get a handle it is to be able to play it. And you have to just let them borrow your deck, right? Uh which is fine. That's how it is in person. But like if it's someone that's not in person that you don't have access to. What am I going to tell them? Like, oh yeah, here, buy 50, 50 different singles <laughs> to, buy, to play a deck, right? You can go buy a bunch of singles. You can buy a quick start deck. You can buy uh, a strike deck set, or you can go fuck yourself. Those are your options. And that just ain't it. That just ain't it. And it's like, and it doesn't have to be crazy, right? Like, I know people want all these crazy things. Like, it doesn't even have to be that crazy. Like... <laughs> You don't even have you don't even have to make it that insane, right? It just has to be so simple. I just have to be able to play the game, right? It's gonna have to be automated. Fine. You already have Deer Days. Like literally, just take Deer Days, make a web version of Deer Days, right? Or an app version. Pick one. Uh, presumably, I would rather web, or I guess you can make it a standalone client. I, either one works for me. You can literally take away all the voice lines, take away all the animations. Like, I, I don't give a shit about that. That's fine. Cut all that shit out, right? You want to cut profits? Get rid of all the fancy voice actors, right? Fine. Cut all that shit out. Yeah, cut the story mode, right? No, none of that stuff. And then that's it. <laughs> just release Deer Days, but then just cut all the fluff out and you'd be fine, right? Like, that that would be something if it's just easy to access. We need an actual way to people be able to play the game, be able to access the 
as easy as possible. Not go to the store and figure it out. Not go on TCG Player and figure it out. Not pay $70 for Deer Days. That, that's not a solution. So while going to your local game store and supporting them is great and all, unfortunately, a lot of stores do not support Vanguard, and even those that actually do, once you finally find one that actually does, you're not going to be able to find really any easy products for beginners there, because it'll either be the original start decks from an old dust release, which were good for the time, but are kind of outdated, but at least there is that if it's actually available, but this was out three to four years ago at this point. Or they have the quick start decks, which is the newer version of that, which are completely useless due to the fact that none of the cards actually have effects. So it'll just give a really bad and poor representation of the actual game that they're trying to play. There is going to be a new product, as I mentioned earlier, that comes out in November that is actually a good, decent starting point for players to actually get it, play it, buy it at a reasonable price get a good sense of the game but however this is only one product that is coming out it's not coming out until november and we just need several more products like this we need less things like beer days 2 which is just a rehash of the original game for the same price the same dlc model that did not work out the first time the options here are either to release Dear Days as a free-to-play game so people can actually access the game and be able to play it, or if you want to go with the current model, you have to realize that Vanguard is a very niche game, and charging the same price as a AAA game for a niche card game is ridiculous. And you have to apply that same principle to the DLC. You also, if you want to have DLC, you can go the more cosmetic route, which will earn you so much more money. So many players would much rather pay money for something like cool skins, different card art, different cosmetic options at a reasonable price than they would the actual ability to play their game that they want to play. Uh, we should get decks like Orphus, Graham, and Fav, like biannually. So there's always an entry level product, not hot ass. Exactly. Why aren't they doing this? Like, they could very easily take. They have so many decks that they don't want to support. Fine, fuck them. Don't support them. Barrel Magus, fuck that guy. Don't support him in the main set. Just give him a stand up trial deck. Give him like two cards. Fine. <laughs> Buff Sagra, you don't give a shit about her. Fuck off then! Just make a fucking stand-up fucking product with sleeves! That'll sell! <laughs> It'll sell so easily! Just give her like two new cards that actually do something and that's it! Problem solved! I don't I don't understand. Why why make a hundred ride lines if you're not gonna like sell them as deck products, man? Grand Fia? You forgot he existed? Oh man! Here's a stand-up trial deck you can make, bro. Like even give him like a I don't know, a hot furry wolf support thing go go all in on the the, the furry market go ahead <sighs> i don't get it so yeah that that was just my big issue with the uh vtuber tournament has nothing to do with actual vtubers you know they had they're no fault in this right they did the most for the game that they could it's just the game like they they gave the game the buzz that they could it's just that the game could not handle the buzz and that is just depressing and embarrassing as a vanguard player